Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how to boot up Windows 8 and run Windows 8 on a Mac completely free of charge. Right, so before you can actually get into installing, you are going to need a few things. So let's boot up Safari to show you what exactly you need. Right, so again, you're going to need VirtualBox, it's the main thing, that come, it's the main thing you need. You can download it at virtualbox.org and you do need the Mac OS X version. Just hit that and it should download it. It's a pretty small download. And then the next thing is the Windows 8 beta. Right, this is, you can download this at MSDN. You know, this is the website. I'll have that in the, in the description below. You have three options, three different versions of the, of the operating system. I recommend you download this one right here. Unless, again, you're a developer and you know, and the developer tools would benefit you, you can download that, download that, but that is an extra gigabyte. And if you do have an older processor or older computer system that doesn't really work well on 64-bit environments, you can download the 32-bit, it's a gigabyte less, again, but I would recommend you download the 64-bit version if your computer is recent, if it's older, an older computer and it does doesn't work well on Mac, on using Mac OS Online, and it's a bit laggy on that operating system. It would even be laggier on a 64-bit, so just download the 32-bit. But again, generally speaking, download the 64-bit version. It is 3.6 gigabytes, so if you do have a low or slow internet connection, it would take a while. But once you do have those two files, you're going to have to go ahead and boot up VirtualBox. Right, I have it over here. So the first time you do boot it up, it might give you some kind of an introduction or welcome screen. Uh, I'll delete this because I want to show you. But generally speaking, you'll get this, right? So you hit, hit the little green button, blue-ish sun circular thing. If it's new, if you didn't see that, then you're blind. I'm sorry. And now you're going to have to follow this little thing, right? So type in the name of the computer. Of the, this We're going to name it Windows 8. Just put in whatever you want. It doesn't really have to be. And actually, it doesn't have to say Windows 8, you can name it whatever the hell you want, but I'll name it Windows 8. Now, to make sure it is set to Microsoft Windows, not any of, this other, of these other operating systems, and make sure it's set to other Windows, not Windows 7, 64-bit, or anything else, just other Windows. Hit continue, we're going to... Now, in this part, you're actually setting how much memory the OS will use of your total RAM. Now, I wouldn't recommend you to go in the yellow or red section. That will completely kill your system. Everything will start, stop working, and it might even turn off. So I would recommend it to be somewhere around here. Not necessarily here in the near the right. I'd say more towards the center. So I'll, I'll, I'll set it, since I'll just be showing you, I'll set it at three, 33 gigabytes. That's okay. Here you're going to have to make sure boot hard disk is selected and create a new hard disk again is the option, not this. Again, you probably won't even have an option to hit this when you're starting this, but generally speaking, just hit create new hard disk. Hit continue, now you get an option. You can hit whichever one you want, but I would recommend the VDI since that is the default. Again, there isn't much of a difference, just hit that. And again, this is optional, but hit dynamically allocated since it is the best in my opinion. You can read what each of one, each of these two, but dynamically allocated is the best. Now here you're actually setting how much hard drive disk space you're using. So you can put it at anywhere you want. It's again up to you, but I'll put it at 20 gigabytes just so I can give you the idea of how it works. Again, now you get a little summary of what you're going to do. Hit create and voila, you get Windows 8 beta. So now you can just hit start. It's going to give you welcome you to the first run wizard, blah, blah, blah. So just hit continue. Hit this little icon, and now you're going to have to look up your Windows 8 disk ISO file. So it should be called this, Windows Developer Preview 64-bit English.ISO. I have it in my downloads folder. Just you look for it. It should be somewhere there. Simply hit open and wait until it changes and hit continue. Now hit start. It's going to boot up the installer and it should fail for you. Just saying this part, it sh should after this give you an error message. So it's normal. You'll see right now. If it doesn't fail though, it's okay. Just continue with the inst installation, but you'll see, just, just wait. See, this is normal. So 
after this, simply hit the X and power off the machine. Now make sure to do what I'm about to do after you start it off, because if you do it from the beginning, it will, won't work. So afterwards, hit settings while well, you have Windows 8 selected, and you have to go to system. Under system, make sure the chipset is set to ICH9. Again, you can screw around with this other stuff, and now go to display. Again, this is an optional. This is optional, but I would recommend you have enable 3D and 2D acceler acceleration and have the video memory all the way up. Now under storage, again, this is important. You need to set it to ICH6, and now under audio, you need it set to Intel HD audio. After that, hit OK, and now when you boot it up again, it should work. So let's just show you real quickly how it would work look. Okay now it loads the files. It gives you the Windows developer preview thing. Only that now it actually runs and doesn't quit on you. If it does continue to quit Send me a message or something through YouTube. I'll try to help you out. But generally speaking, it should continue to work normally. And you get this, the install window. So again, I'm not going to walk you through the installation since it does take a while. But you should simply get this. Hit install now. Setup starts. It takes a while. This might, the total installation, I would imagine, takes, would take around 40 minutes, depending on how quick your computer is. But you get the idea. So I'm just going to close this. So if this video was in any way helpful to you, please, I would highly recommend that you subscribe and, you know, like the video and all that stuff. Also, follow me on Twitter at Potoma16. My username is the exact same username as I use on YouTube. Also, Google Plus me. I'll have the little Google Plus link at the bottom. Again, thanks for watching the video, and I love you. Please, goodbye. I like bye.